Here we have some more problems with similar triangles. Remember, when triangles are similar, they're not the same size necessarily, but their sides are proportional to each other, and then all their angles are the same as well. It says, given that triangle ABC is similar to DEF, solve for X and Y. So, in this case, we have an unsolved side here and an unsolved side here. The thing to do in that situation is look for a corresponding side that uh, both have numbers on them. And it looks like the bottoms of both of these correspond and they have numbers. So that's going to be our first ratio. We'll put big triangle over little triangle. And then we'll have to do two different calculations. Let's solve for y first. And since we're putting big triangle over little triangle, we'll put y over the side it corresponds to, which is 10. Then you would get, uh, when you cross multiply here, you would get 7y equals 90. Then you divide 90 by 7. And let's see, I think you would get y equals 12.86. So we've solved for y. Now we can do the same thing for x. We can start with our first ratio here, 9 over 7. That's the bottom sides here. And then we want big triangle over little triangle, so 16 here corresponds to the x side. So we put 16 over x, and then cross multiply again. Here we get 9x equals 7 times 16. And when you do the multiplication and the division, dividing by 9, I think you're going to get x equals 12.4. You can double check that on your own calculator. All right, let's look at another one here. This one is kind of a word problem. It says the extendable ramp shown below. So I guess this triangle is, it represents a ramp and it can be extended this much or it can be extended all the way to here. Is used to move crates of fruit to loading docks of different heights. When the horizontal distance AB, so from here to here, is 4 feet, the height of the loading dock BC is 2 feet. What is the height of the loading dock DE? So we really want to find this side. We've got two similar triangles, the big one, and then this little one inside it. And uh, this side corresponds to this side that has two feet. The other sides we have are for the bottoms. And here you have to be a little bit careful. You might think that the little triangle is 4 and the big triangle is 10, but it's not. The big triangle is that whole length. It's 14. So let's set up a ratio of little triangle to big triangle and use the bottom. Uh, lengths here. So 4 is to 14 as, and then we want to do little triangle over big triangle, so 2 is to the side we're looking for. Then we can cross multiply, and we get 4x equals 28, and divide by 4, and we get x equals, whoops, x equals 7. All right, one more. This one's a little bit trickier and requires some algebra. It says triangles ABC and A prime, B prime, C prime are similar figures. Find the length of AB. So they're similar, so we know the sides are proportional. We can set up a proportion. And we want to find this length AB, which is listed as 8 plus x. Well, don't let that throw you. Let's just go ahead and set up a proportion. 8 plus x, the corresponding side here would be 6. So I'm going to say 8 plus x is to 6 as, and then the other sides we have are 8 and x, as 8 is to x. So uh, it's the same way we've done proportions in the past, it's just that we've got some variables in there now, more variables than we're used to. But we can still do the same thing. We can cross multiply. Now here, 6 times 8, that's 48. That's pretty easy. On the other side, we get x times, and it's got to be times that whole quantity. So x times x plus 8. And that is x times x is x squared. x times 8 is 8x. And at this point, what you should recognize is that we've got a quadratic equation on our hands. And quadratic equations, you can solve them by factoring. You can solve them with the quadratic formula if factoring isn't easy. Um, and the first thing you do with a quadratic when you're trying to factor it uh, or solve it with a quadratic formula is set it equal to 0. So I'm going to subtract 48 from both sides. And we get 0 equals x squared plus 8x minus 48. Now I think we can factor this one. Remember, with a quadratic, there'll be two solutions. One of them's probably going to make sense in this problem. One of them's not, so we'll have to pick the right one once we find out what our two solutions are. 
when you factor, you have these two things that would foil together to create this. So you're going to have x plus or minus some number and x plus or minus some number. The numbers have to multiply out to negative 48. So it looks like one of them is going to be positive, one of them is going to be negative to get a negative number here. And they have to add up to a positive 8. And I'm thinking with the factors of 48, what would do that would be 12 and 4 if you had a, a positive 12 and a negative 4. So I think we've got x plus 12 and x minus 4. If you're not sure that that's right, the factoring is right, foil that together and see if you get this. I think you will. Now, these factors still equal 0. So to solve for x, we set each of these factors equal to 0. So x plus 12 equals 0 and x minus 4 equals 0. And when we solve for x, we get x equals negative 12 and x equals 4. But which one's the right answer? Well, it, hopefully, if you think about it for a minute, it should be pretty obvious. We're trying to find the length of a side. So a negative number doesn't make too much sense. Negative number isn't really uh, a length. So it's got to be x equals 4. But don't stop there. Let's remember what the original problem said. It said, find length AB. Well, AB is x plus 8. So if you gave your answer as 4, you'd be wrong. It's got to be 4 plus 8, or 12. So a lot of steps in that one, but nothing you can't handle. And that's a little bit of work with similar triangles.